Travis uh, introduced us to the concept of reverse math. Uh, uh, rage! It's love that makes poop? Trust me, I have an intelligence of six, so I know what I'm doing. I think Jester polymorphs everyone into mermaids and it's all underwater. Underwater nations? No, there are cultures and oh. the, what? No, we, we've been together too long. We're like a, an, an eight person married couple. Critical role, everybody. Like, you know, if you could choose a different class, what would that class be? And what do you think you would pick? I got one, sorcerer, because it seems super hard. For, wait, for Chetney? I don't know. For Grog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I burn a sorcerer point and um, would like to revivify. Maybe a barbarian. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I guess just general. I got really close to dipping Keyleth into some barbarian levels. Really? What? Yes. Why? You guys knew this. No. no. I've said this before. We don't listen to you. <laughs> you know, because she went through her little, her little angry phase, and I was like, and then, but also a little bit of barbarian in your druid can be super powerful because you can rage and then go into like your animal forms. Yeah. Did you guys know this? Right. That's right. Right. I'm not talking out my ass. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, it's a super powerful combo. But imagine like Barbarian Keyleth. Yeah, it would oh, be awesome. Guys, I don't, uh, uh, rage. She would angrily leap to her death. <laughs> the raging goldfish. I, this, oh no, I, I figured I might not, I think Caduceus would make a very interesting monk and you would have, like, think about it. I know it's weird, but like, the whole notion of just very calm, passive, like, keeping everybody at bay would be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Caduceus monk. Oh, yeah. You've got the whole stoic thing down. Yeah. I, I have actually always wanted to do just a full-blown rogue, which I thought I was going to do for campaign three, and then... I didn't. Because <laughs> I started playing Fern and I was like, she's not a rogue, but except when she's stealing. But yeah, I, I am curious about playing like a full blown Z's rogue. Like Fern is a full rogue with her like clippy clops. I know. <laughs> Everywhere she's. Clop, 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 clop. We were saying we needed to have Di yeah. Deanna knit you some little booty, yeah, little booties. booties. <laughs> Scanlon would probably. Uh, love to be a ranger just so he could get a pet bear, just so he could <laughs> use it in a wise, smart way. Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I have a... <laughs> you guys know, if you played a ranger with an animal companion, that, that class was a little broken, right? Like the animal companions, especially if you start multi-classing, then, then you can't level up your animal companion with you because it stays the same level. So he would die, he would die. And we were in such high level fights. If I brought Trinket out, he would die in one hit. And then what? Get another one. Um, I made a, gonna, I'm gonna a rogue Sam. paladin druid, so I think I got multi-class out of my system. Um, Caleb likes being a wizard too much, and I like being a fighter, but I could see Orem leaning paladin or druid. You, have, you notice how a lot of gods talk to Orem? Cool. <laughs> um... I could see Vex. Uh, originally, I was wanting Rogue for Vex. Like, that was our whole thing. We both wanted to be Rogues. Um, uh, but I could see her leaning Paladin towards the end. I think that would be a really cool thing for her. Um, and then, I don't know, Jester? Maybe, like, a Bard or something? 
Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's great. Well, look. I inspire you with dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to be here. Thank you for that. Uh, which member of the Baldur's Gate 3 voice cast would you like to have as a visitor in a Critical Role episode? Oh, no. No, they're here, cause they'll, so I can't, I can't pick one <laughs> while they're present. Uh, I've only had the, the pleasure of actually meeting them in person at this con, which has been wonderful, and they're all so great. Um, I mean, my, I probably have to jump out on Amelia, since she is such a fan already and has all this experience. Um, Who's the hot vampire guy? Oh, uh, uh, oh Neil? <laughs> Asterian? <laughs> Neil be great too. They'd all be great. Well, all of them. <laughs> and if you haven't seen, they all had a chance to play recently with a dear friend of mine, Mark Humes of High Rollers, and it was so great. Um, so shout out, shout out to Mark High Rollers and the whole crew there. They did a wonderful job. I mean, I enjoyed when Travis uh, introduced us to the concept of reverse math. <laughs> <laughs> AKA sub subtraction. <laughs> time is a weird soup yeah. is pretty good. God, we say that's that such a all good the one. time. Yeah. Life, life needs, needs things, things to, to live. live. Sure. Yeah, that's a really my, my wish for you is that someone will mourn you when you're gone. They all come from Taliesin. They really do. Yeah. I mean, we're going to bring it back to Taliesin again. Uh, it's, not, it's not pain that makes people, it's love that makes people. Which, side note, we made that um, shirt, it's love that makes people, and the first time, the first design of it, Travis came in and looked, because I, I work on the merch, I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Travis came in and he was like, it's love that makes poop? <laughs> because it was like kind of covered, I'm like, I gotta work on that, I gotta, I gotta redo that. Yeah, it's love that makes poop, you guys, it is. <laughs> Your soul is forfeit. Stop. Talison has some good lines, man. We could make an entire coffee table yes. book of just Talison's one-liners. Yes. That's crazy. Hear that, Laura? <laughs> all right, all right. I got I got turned so hard by what's my mother what's my mother's name hurt me so hard oh, and I Sam occasionally hits me, but it's always just it's like a spike oh. in your chest. My chest, not your chest. Trust me, yeah. I have an intelligence of six, so I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I mean, how do you want to do this? <laughs> it's pretty good. We should get tattoos. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, what's that right there? I don't think I've ever seen oh, that before. Oh, it's a blurry, oh! What a good idea. We've only seen but small bits of Isilra, um, and we've really only seen a small section of the Shattered Teeth. Uh, and that's not even considering all of like the underwater nations that kind of live separately from the mainland <laughs> stuff. Uh, what? You guys have never been like really in any of the ocean parts of the world aside from a couple of delves. We did. Wait, 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 wait. So underwater nations? Well, like, you no, know, there are cultures and oh. what? What do you? This wait, is, can we wait? Can we be mermaids? Can we all just be mermaids? Can we have a one-shot mermaid one-shot? <laughs> mermaid wedding. Jester polymorphs everyone into mermaids, and it's all underwater. <laughs> this is your fault now. You did yes. this. Okay, but here's a real question. Is that too much for divine intervention for RT to turn everyone to mermaids for like just that much time? Uh, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, rest of you, answers, go. More shattered teeth, please. Yeah, Shattered Teeth looked amazing. There are a, a million floating islands. They're all moving in different directions. It makes no sense. I want to know why. <laughs> Same answer. Shattered Teeth. 
I don't know if we'll ever go there, but I'm curious about what's underground. We got little peaks back in campaign one, but I'm sure there's more. Uh, Aeor. Oh, yeah. Obsess. I still want to know what's going on with those to those people under the dome, the, 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 you know, there's so much, I wanna go there so bad, I love it there. And also a Silra. We've really only barely touched a Silra, like Vasselheim and then the, the split, but like uh, there's so much of that we haven't seen. Yeah, and the underside of the planet too. <laughs> the flippy flop side, the dark side. Is, is there anything on the other moon? We haven't even talked about it, the other moon. There's two moons, I don't know if there's other oh, things yeah. on the other moon. Kath is pretty boring. No, it's not. <gasps> oh. Prove it. But beyond even locations, there's also time to explore. You know, we did the Calamity oh, yeah. little mini series. <laughs> Which is super great. Everyone should watch it if you haven't. It's really good. Shout out to Brendan Lee Mulligan. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go back and see more of what was going on a thousand years ago. Or looking at Keyleth in Arashari 2077. <laughs> Having a person who steps forward to kind of lead the charge on both guiding and protecting what you're doing. And I gotta give a shout out to Travis over here who has been, <laughs> who has been our, our, our lion, our paladin, and uh, our, our, our shield, like since the very beginning and so. He wouldn't be here without this Papa Bear. I don't know, we all love each other so much. It's crazy at this point. Um, and uh, I don't think we, I think we wanna be together for the rest of our lives. I, I, wanna, I wanna wear a Matt face t-shirt at his funeral. <laughs> After all these years, we, we just, we really trust each other a ton. And there are definitely are moments on the road where, you know, we're like, well, I think we should turn left or I think we should turn right. But we ultimately always are going to the same place and we care about that place we're going and what we're doing. So a any bumps, like even in the middle of them, where you're like, oh, I don't agree. You never, you're always like, but it's just this moment. It's just this moment. You know, we, we've been together too long. We're like a, an, an eight-person married couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I, it's funny because I, 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 we all, I, I think if we didn't have this, we would still be playing this game in Travis and Laura's living room or Matt and Marisha's living room. You know, it's, it's, we all really genuinely love each other still, which is crazy. And I really like hanging out with these people. Like this is, we're family. Like we're literally your family. Like I feel like Travis is like my bigger brother. And like these are my sisters and my brothers and like this is, we love each other so much. Like I don't know what I would do without this game. Literally. And I'm gonna give this away because I'm gonna start crying. 